It's the finale, the last dance of the 2023 Bosch Motorsport Australia Rally Championship starts here. It's the Subaru Canberra Rally of Canberra, and we're at the start of SS1 Oakey Creek, which is a really interesting, tricky stage to kick off this rally. It has come down to the wire between Harry Bates and Coral Taylor and brother Lewis Bates and Anthony McLaughlin. Those are the two title contenders in 2022. We're seeing a repeat in 23, and it is fascinating. It sure is, Jess, because ultimately Ultimately, it's only those two who could now win the championship. It could come down to the Eero Power stage, but as you say, this stage, just getting through this rally is tough enough on its own. Indeed, this 25 kilometre stage to start the rally is very technical. The roads are very dry, it's bony. The attrition here at Canberra is often one of the biggest factors. So even getting to the end of the rally, let alone winning it, is very hard. Sure is. Lewis Bates on the line now. Harry's already gone through. There's a little bit of dust in the air. Will that play a part? There's plenty of technical roads coming up. They've got to get there on Sunday first. <laughs> We are lining up for the first stage of the Rally of Canberra. What's going through your head as you're sitting here waiting to start? Um, yeah, well, well, just sort of mentally waking myself up, you know, um, trying to get hyped up uh, for the start. But, yeah, it's going to be a tough day today. Um, the roads are really technical and, and very challenging, very demanding, with um, heaps of, like, obstacles out on the road, like rocks and stumps everywhere. So it's really important to stay in the middle of the road almost for the whole way but yeah it's going to be good harry first stage under your belt how was it uh extremely slippery and tough but uh we had a good run kept it pretty clean i mean i'm not going to say it was without moments first stage of the rally you want to make sure you're getting in the mode and pushing on a bit but um i think we've pulled out a bit of a lead over lewis and anthony already so yeah we just need to keep this rhythm up the conditions that you were expecting you expecting them to continue over the next couple of stages as well yeah, absolutely. It's just going to be a slippery morning. And then hopefully this afternoon we can push on a bit harder on a sweat road. But at the moment, it's very, very tricky. Lewis, not the ideal stage you're telling me in the opening one. Tell us how it went for you. No, I'm glad to get through, but it wasn't it wasn't a very nice run. I just had no confidence. It's very low grip out there. It's very easy to make a mistake. So, um, yeah, it's hard to find the balance. And you sort of thought that it would be slippy. Was it slippy than you thought? It's like that dry, slippy road? Yeah, probably more unpredictable than I was expecting. Um, clearly, Harry and Coral had a really good stage because we didn't have a bad stage, but I wasn't pushing. Um, so, yeah, clearly they had a big push, so um, took a lot of risks. But, yeah, I'm glad to get through that stage, but um, disappointing to lose so much time so early on. You start to now look at everyone else around you and just, not just Harry's time? Is that where you're focused at the moment before you go into this next stage? Oh, no, it's still pretty early on, so we'll keep pushing hard. Um, yeah, I think we can um, yeah, tune the car up a little bit and find a little bit of confidence. Eddie, one stage under your belt. First time in Canberra as well. How did you find it? Yeah, different. A uh, bit of a challenge. Uh, the, the, the surface is something I haven't driven on before. Real dusty, but really, really loose and slippery. And, and then you get a bit of grip in the stage and it go again so really unpredictable so struggling to get some confidence but I think I'll just stay at that pace for the rest of the, this event this is just all about conserving and getting through to the end. It absolutely is Canberra can be really tricky to get to the end so you're playing the long game here? Yeah absolutely just keep out of the gutters and uh, and uh, we should get to the finish. And uh, the dust you mentioned do you think that's going to be a factor throughout the day there's not much wind around? There's not much wind around in places it was quite uh, quite thick you couldn't see much in, in certain places but um, all in all, um, I've driven it much worse, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I don't know, it's probably just first stage jitters, but uh, it was not too bad until we got in the forest and there was a heap of dust that was just hanging and the sun was hitting it from the other way and we overshot a, a hairpin and uh, went in the forest a little bit and backed her out and got going again, so that's all right, we got away with it. These are really tricky roads to get your head around, isn't it? I was mean, saying before, Jess, that you know, sort of I think we like them, but they're actually just really hard to drive fast on. Yeah, you've got to be on your game, that's for sure. Lots of tricky bits, blind crests and things like that, camber that sort of takes you off into the weeds and stuff. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot to think about. But, you know, it's a long event. It's a proper rally, endurance event. So we've got all we can, so uh, we'll just uh, go slow and steady. I think now that you've banked one and the nerves are out of the way that these roads become a little easier and the stage become a bit more comfortable? I hope so. I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the next one. 